if you're going to be working on your vehicle, buy and use a good jack and proper jack stands. This is the best jack I have ever used, and while you do not need to purchase this jack, you should never use the jack provided with the car unless it is in a roadside emergency. Also, never get under your vehicle unless the vehicle is supported correctly by proper jack stands. Begin by making sure you are on a hard and level surface and that you have chalked the wheels opposite of where you are lifting. Just behind the front wheels are indentations in the rocker panels, red arrows, one on each side. Just behind the indentation is a double seamed area for the body that has been reinforced for lifting the vehicle. This photo illustrates the reinforced area red arrow that the jack is lifting from. You can see the double seamed area. Do not lift or support from outside of this area. With the underbody trays removed, you can also lift and or support the front of the vehicle from the rails, red arrow. Most modern cars are engineered with more concern for the airflow and weight savings than they are with giving the weekend DIYer a safe and easy access place to lift their vehicles from. Just in front of the rear wheels are indentations in the rocker panels, red arrows, one on each side. Just behind the indentation is a double seamed area of the body, again, that has been reinforced for lifting the vehicle from. This image illustrates the rear lifting area. You can lift from the reinforced seam, red arrow, or lift and or support from the flat area right behind it, green arrow, just in front of the suspension pickup area. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.